I now bring you Henry Flores, who is an SSP alum, with his story of how it affected his life. Henry. Thank you, Jerry. Uh, my sponsor, Dirk, is here, and he said, well, don't leave your speech up there. They might lose it. I was like, what are the chances of that happening? In the 15 years I've known Dirk, that's the third time you're right. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Thank you, Jerry, for introducing me. Uh, good evening, everyone. I want to thank all of you for being here to support Student Sponsor Partners, an amazing organization that changed the lives of thousands of inner city students throughout New York City since its founding in 1986. I'm a 1997 graduate of All Hollows in the South Bronx. Hard to believe that was 15 years ago. I would have thought I was the oldest graduate here from All Hollows, but Kevin Jackson is actually here, and he's a graduate of 1996. So thanks, Kevin, for showing up and making me feel a little bit better. My life started out in the Dominican Republic, and like any immigrant story, my family left the DR in order to find a better life here in the United States. We settled in East Harlem, and by the time I came to SSP as a ninth grader, I was getting by in public school with a C minus average. My report card was filled with comments like, Henry has lots of potential. My, then my grades declined even further after my dad passed away when I was 13 years old. I was expected to attend my locally zoned public high school in East Harlem, a place that I was experiencing a lot of gang violence at the time. My mom refused to let me go there. She was willing to take on a second job in order to send me to Catholic school. She had a heart condition and I had already lost one parent. So I spoke to my guidance counselor, Mr. Barreto, about the situation. And that's how I learned about Student Sponsor Partners, a program that would send me to Catholic school for free. My ears perked up when I heard those magical words that East Harlem kids love, free. <laughs> but being a kid from East Harlem, I'm a natural skeptic. And I said, you know what, what's the catch, Mr. Barreto? And he said, there's no catch, except one, you're going to go to an all guy school, the big one. And you're going to have to wear a uniform every day. So I was going through my ugly phase at the time, which I haven't yet to outgrow. And I like dressing preppy, so I said, you know what, sign me up, why not? <laughs> At All Hollows, I found out how I was the distinguished holder of a record. I had 89 latenesses in public school. At All Hollows, they didn't mess around. If you were there late, you were going to get sent to jug or detention. So my freshman year, I had no latenesses, and then I graduated with only two latenesses after four years. Dirk Lazier, <laughs> my sponsor, who you've been introduced to briefly already, uh, I first met him. Uh, Dirk Leisure was my sponsor and mentor. Until this day, he's one of my strongest advocates and one of my closest friends. I met Dirk, a high-yield investment banker at the time. He said not to mention where he was at the time, which was Goldman Sachs. You know. <laughs> <laughs> we can't all be perfect. <laughs> so I met him at the All Hallows opening dinner. And my mom, who didn't speak any English at the time and still doesn't, and Dirk, whose Spanish abilities were limited to hola and gracias, so I was there the whole night translating. I felt like I was at a UN summit. <laughs> at one point, my mom got serious and said, tell Dirk, you're not going to waste this opportunity he's given you. You're going to work very hard to make him proud, and you're not going to let us down. And by the tone and the look at my mom's face, I knew there was no partying anymore. The free ride was over. So my first year at All Hollows, my grades went from a C- in public school to an A- minus average at All Hollows. My relationship with Dirk. My relationship with Dirk strengthened over the years, and when I told him I wanted to attend Middlebury College, a small college in Vermont, in, Mer in Vermont, he was more on top of my grades than ever. By junior year, I had a solid A average at Ohalos, but at home, things were difficult. My mom was hospitalized due to her heart problems, and I was home alone a lot. But the family I found in Ohalos helped me get through this very trying time. My mom recovered, thankfully, and I graduated Ohalos as one of the top 10 students in their class, I was a national honor scholar and a presidential scholar, and I was accepted to Middlebury College. <laughs> I know you're all finance people, so you appreciate this. Dirk's initial investment of me of $10,000 for four years of high school was multiplied into $140,000 of free education at Middlebury. So Dirk, that's time number four, you're right. So I'm sorry. 
it's fitting that so many of my sponsors and supporters are here from Morgan Stanley because that's where I got my first big professional break. I, in college, I participated at an SSP information session for Morgan Stanley's private wealth management department. And David Darst, a then managing director at Morgan Stanley, and Stephanie Whittier offered me an internship on the spot afterwards. I interned at Morgan Stanley every summer and every winter break at Middlebury after that. Upon graduating with Middlebury from honor, with honors in 2001, I secured an analyst position with Morgan Stanley's fixed income division. I currently work at Building and Land Technology, a major mixed-use developer based out of Stanford, Connecticut. After college, I also became an SSP mentor. In the past 10 years, I've worked with three Ohio students. One of them, Jonathan, received a full scholarship to attend Holy Cross and is now an investment advisor at J.P. Morgan. He's also married and with a child, so in many ways he surpassed me as an adult. <laughs> the two younger men, one of them is in college, and one of them, Calvin Ramirez, is actually here tonight. And he's, a, he's a junior at All Hollows at the time now. He's got an A average. And uh, Dirk kindly brought his report card. And I'm like, the kid has an A average. Give him a break tonight. Uh, so I'm very proud to say that the, the mentoring I'm doing now is now financially sponsored by Dirk. Everything coming full circle in my relationship with SSP is one of the proudest moments of my life. Everyone involved in SSP, students, family, sponsors, are left better for it. So not so much for Dirk, but SSP can't save everyone. <laughs> All kidding aside, SSP is an incredible organization that opens doors that would otherwise be closed for kids like me. SSP enabled me to unlock the potential that my early public school, school teachers saw and so kindly wrote down on my report card but couldn't unlock themselves. I want to take the opportunity to thank Dirk, Leisure, and Patty Leisure, All Hollows, SSP, and Morgan Stanley for helping me recognize the potential within myself. I want to thank each and every one of you for being here tonight and for supporting this worthy organization. By now, you've probably noticed the sign-up cards in front of your tables. You've already done so much for SSP by being here tonight, all 620 of you. So I hope you'll forgive me for asking one more thing. If you're not a sponsor already, please take those cards, fill them out, and hand them to the students that are walking around. And there's a good probability that you'll change someone's life and that the student that you sponsor might someday be up here making fun of you too.